how to integrate your email autoresponder with Webinar Jam Studio. So your email services uh, could be uh, Aweber, you know, Git Response, Infusionsoft, One Shopping Cart. You know, they've integrated with a lot of the major players. Mailchimp is a popular one for people just getting started. Um, in our case, we just use Aweber. Aweber is a simple, good customer service. Um, they allow affiliate links if you're doing any affiliate marketing, whereas like Mailchimp doesn't. Um, you know, so Aweber is a solid kind of beginning course, but not necessarily beginning. I mean, there's seven-figure marketers that still use Aweber. So um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set this up in Webinar Jam Studio using Aweber. So this is where you would put the code that's at the end. But let me go over to Aweber, and I'll come back to this in just a second. And let's see, Michael, can you see my Aweber? Not yet. You're I'm still, still looking. Seeing, at, I'm still seeing still, the dashboard right. in Webinar Jam. So I'm going to come back here and go to my screen share. I'm going to come back on for a second. How's everybody uh, doing? Yeah. <laughs> We're here. And uh, let's go over to a Weber. Share that. So how about now, Michael? Yeah, well, I can see a Weber. Absolutely. A Weber. So let's say we're in a Weber and you use a Weber. So this is where you would get that code to put into your um, Webinar Jam Studio integration. So what you're going to do is you're going to make a new list in Aweber. So I recommend if you're doing any kind of joint ventures or anything where you want like a niche group of people to be contained, that you create a new email list for those people. So if you have a certain topic on your webinar that's going to be maybe different than some of the others, create a new list, whether that's in MailChimp or Aweber, and you're going to create what's called a sign-up form. So you just do that right here. It's very simple to do. So you would go to sign up forms, create sign up form, create the sign up form. It's very simple and it's going to give you a little link down here. You don't have to name it anything special. You're going to click that link. It's going to open it up. And it's going to give you this. And this is just a bare bones, ugly old opt in. But the thing is, you're not going to worry about customizing this. You're not going to need to change it. Uh, because it's not going to show on the front end. You're just going to use the code from this box in Webinar Jam. So all you have to do after you've created your new box is just go over here to Publish. You're going to go down to Install My Own My Form. And you're going to click on the raw HTML version. And you're just going to copy this code. The whole thing, you don't have to pick anything out of it. You just copy it. Yep. John, could you go back over those steps just a tiny bit slower? Right. Because I think that went a bit fast. So just <laughs> all right. Okay. So yeah. So we're gonna here do, we go. let's do it just a little bit slower. So yeah. Okay, here we go. Thank you, Michael. Um, so you're gonna start with the sign up forms area. So you click on that. If you're using Aweber, this is exactly how you would do it. You click on after you create a list, which I'm not gonna go through right now, it's right. very simple. Um, you're gonna go to sign up forms, create a sign up form. After you create that, you're going to go over to where it's going to be listed here, and you're going to click on that listed uh, email list that you just built, or the opt-in form, excuse me. You're going to come to this page. You're going to go to Publish. You're going to go to Install My Form. And you're going to go to raw HTML version. You don't want the JavaScript raw HTML. Copy this, and then I'll show you where you can go to to paste that in Webinar Jam. So, are we ready to head over, Michael? Yes. Perfect. So, I'm going to go back to my screen share. I'm going to come back on for a second. So that's how it's done, guys. Now we're going to take that code and we're going to head over to Webinar Jam. So let's head on over. Share my screen, and we're back at Webinar Jam. So then all you do is take that code, click on Aweber in this case, and you're going to paste that code right here. So you're just going to paste it in this box right here and hit Select, and that's it. And then make sure to hit Confirm before you're done, and then it will say Integrated. That's how you do it with Aweber. MailChimp or some of these other services are probably very similar. I don't use MailChimp. 
Um, but basically, you just need to create a sign-up box and grab the code from that sign-up box in a similar fashion. So I hope that was helpful, guys, in helping kind of clear up some questions on on that. Um, how are we I doing, Michael? Few, we're doing great. I have a few things to add as well as questions have come in. So just to, to note, um, the reason we integrate with AWeber, and you may want to integrate with whatever autoresponder mail service you use, is obviously you want to capture those registrations so you could continue to communicate with those folks, okay, um, over time because uh, you know they've attended you know your webinar, so you you can, like I said, you want to have the integration. If you don't want to integrate with an autoresponder service, Webinar Jam does capture all of the attendees and you could actually download a list. I don't know if John, if you could go in a moment to where um, we could actually get the registrants from the dashboard um, in my webinars, but you can actually go into the attendees in the in the analytics, I believe it is, you could get the full I, I download and ex, basically it's an Excel spreadsheet of all the attendees that have signed up. But it's really better, in our opinion, that you integrate with some email autoresponder service because you want to maintain some ongoing communication with those folks. And the people who sign up for your session can always describe, you know, unsubscribe from your list. But this is a great way to capture going forward. So I think we did that. Just so you know, too, for raw HTML code, basically that is the same thing you're going to do with whatever your autoresponder service is that opt-in form from that autoresponder service, you just need the raw HTML code to copy and paste into um, Webinar Jam for the integration to work. Right. And I believe you need one of those for each list that you create, right? Because it tracks to each list.